Welcome to 23rd of Mass Quality Blessing. Whenever we have a relationship with someone, everything else becomes not so important. We are totally focused on that being, on that person, and our life revolves around that person. And that is what we are going to learn over here. How about having that relationship with the Creator, one Godfather? And what are the methods of doing it and how does it make our life better and simpler and easier? So let's have an understanding of this word then. In his own words, God says, May you have all your relationships. Mother, father, brother, sister, uncle, aunt is separate, but friend also. With the one father and bid farewell to Maya as an easy yogi. You see, Maya also comes along with ego and even attachments. And we do so many things out of attachment which actually make us move away from our path, the real path which God has designed for us and we get into the shaitan or the ravan or the satanic path. So God that's why says that when you have one relationship with me alone then I'll be the one who will be guiding you and you'll be listening to me because then all your relationships are with me and not listen to others guidance and be dictated by them and lose your path in the sense of becoming Maya's own instead of becoming God's own. So God says when you have a relationship with someone, your remembrance of that one becomes natural. Isn't it so? We remember that person from time to time. What's happening? Where is he or she? What are they doing right now? Where they must be? Have they had the food? Or are they, are they well clothed? Are they warm enough? Are they healthy enough or not or are they having their desires met or not so this is what happens throughout the day to have all your relationships with the one father is to be an easy yogi that means what does my father want he's just not a father if you turn your relationship into a friend what does my friend want from me what does my mother want from me no it's not that he becomes a physical mother or a physical father or a physical brother or a physical friend but he being a soul can take many 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 different forms in the form of thoughts he can play many roles and that's the best method for us to be detached from our worldly different different relationships and not be dependent upon them but be independent and be dependent upon him alone so that we don't depend upon others guidance and especially in this kalyug people can't guide us on the right path 100 percent because they are full of either fear or insecure or jealous or angry or greedy and they're full of all those emotions that's why the most purest emotion which we can find is God so why not make him a friend why don't make him a father and a mother and ask him dad what would you want me to do it doesn't make become that he becomes a physical father obviously or mom what do you want me to do how do you want me to take care of the situation how do you want me to react or behave or my friend what would you have done if you were in my place and we can ask these questions to him. Then God says, by becoming an easy yogi, you bid farewell to Maya. That's what we have been talking about. When Maya leaves you, blessings from the Father, then make you move forward a great deal. That means when we are detached from any ego, jealousy, hatred and negativities in our mind and we are not dependent upon others for our victory or defeat. Even defeat, yes, because in defeat we blame. In victory, we acclaim them to be ours actually and very few of us actually say thank you to the other person if that person has guided us. So even if that person has guided us, we should think that it, that guidance has come from God because who gave that intellect to that person? God himself. So it's coming from God. When Maya leaves you, blessings from the Father then make you move forward a great deal. Those who receive God, blessings from God and the Brahmin family at every step easily fly continue to fly. Fly means what? They continue to fly in a higher state of mind, in a higher consciousness as compared to others who are stuck in a lower consciousness. So these are the methods which we learn in Brahma Kumaris and to have a relationship means you should know that person, right? Similarly over here, knowing God is your first step which you can learn in Brahma Kumaris Godly Spiritual University. Who is he and what is his plan for the world and for me? Om Shanti with this.